The last thing I want to mention about coding and data science and web data is something called JSON. And I like to think of it as a version of smaller is better. Now what JSON stands for is JavaScript object notation, although JavaScript is supposed to be one word. And what it is, is that like XML, JSON is semi structured data. That is, you have tags that define the data so the computer knows what each piece of information is. But like XML, the tags can vary freely. And so there's a lot in common between XML and JSON. So XML is a markup language. That's what the ML stands for. And that gives meaning to the text. It lets the computer know what each piece of information is. Also, XML allows you to make comments in the document. And it allows you to put metadata in the tags. You can actually put some information there in the angle brackets to provide additional context. JSON, on the other hand, is specifically designed for data interchange. And so it's got that special focus. And the structure of JSON corresponds with data structures. You know, it directly represents objects and arrays and numbers and strings and booleans. And that works really well with the programs that you use to analyze data. Also, JSON is typically shorter than XML because it does not require the closing tags. Now, there are ways to do that with XML, but that's not typically how it's done. As a result of these differences, JSON is basically taking XML's place in web data. XML still exists, still used for a lot of things, but JSON is slowly replacing it. And we'll take a look at the comparison between the three by going back to the example we used in XML. This is data about Formula One car races in 1957 from airgast.com. And so you can just go to the first web page here, and then we'll navigate to the others from that. So this is the general page. This is if you just type in without the .xml or .json or anything. So it's a table of information about races in 1957. And we saw earlier that if you add just .xml to the end of this, it looks exactly the same. That's because this browser is displaying XML properly by default. But if you were to right click on it and go to view page source, you would get this instead. And you can see the structure. This is still XML. And so everything has an opening tag and a closing tag and some extra information in there. But if you type in .json, what you really get is this jumbled mess. Now, that's unfortunate because there is a lot of structure to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy all of this data. And then I'm going to go to a little web page. There's a lot of things you can do here. And it's a cute phrase. It's called JSON pretty print. And that is make it look structured so it's easier to read. I just paste that in there and hit pretty print JSON. And now you can see the hierarchical structure of the data. The interesting thing is that the JSON tags only have tags at the beginning. So it says series in quotes and then a colon. And then it gives the piece of information in quotes and a comma and it moves on to the next one. And this is a lot more similar to the way that data would be represented in something like R or Python. And so it's also more compact. Again, there's things you can do with XML. But this is one of the reasons that JSON is generally becoming preferred as a data carrier for websites. And as you might have guessed, it's really easy to convert between the formats. It's easy to convert between XML, JSON, CSV, etc. And so you can get a web page where you just paste one version in and you get the other version out. There are some differences, but for the vast majority of situations, they're just kind of interchangeable. So in sum, what do we get from this? Like XML, JSON is semi structured data, where there are tags that say what the information is, but you can define the tags however you want. And JSON is specifically designed for data interchange. And because it reflects the structure of the data in the programs, that makes it really easy. And then also because it's relatively compact, JSON is replacing gradually XML on the web as a container for data on web pages.